hoes no longer with MJ. Does that make it okay to smash the homie because you weren't with MJ? No, I didn't smash him. I didn't smash I got pregnant with twins, and we're still and together. I'm explain to you, that's why my brother feels the way he feels. Before you smash his home. Let me tell you something. I'll warn him. Keep Alan's name. I'll warn him. What the f you gonna do? Why the f are you here? I don't know what to say. Why are you here? What do you want? I'm just so f over it. Alan and I are in a great place. And I literally just gave birth to two babies. I'm trying to live my life. I don't want to continue to have to talk about the same A lot of weird stuff was going on. Wow. You really, really got up. You're trying to do a career out of talking about my talking about me. First of all, my is not for everybody. My is for Alan. That's exactly who it's for. Thank you very much. Apparently, no, he's not your homeboy. He told you what he needed to tell you so you can get that cat and get you pregnant. He got me pregnant and we're getting married. I guess you like trash men then. Well, I'm trash and you got babies by a trash too. No, man, Hello. let's let's keep one thing separate from the other, okay? Why you wasn't at your baby shower? What? That was, why he That's none of your business. You see how you're caught up in my life? Still to this day, people reach out to me on social media. They give me a lot of insight of what's happening over there in their life. So of course, after seeing the things that are transpiring between him and Amada, I know deep down in my heart, Alec can never give up what I feel. I introduced you when the shit happened out there in DR. I feel like that's trash, and you slept with him. You don't want to own up to it. You feel own up like to what? You and I weren't together. And it's true. I have always admitted it. You introduced me to Alan. You went and you went crying to everybody, and you're like, "Oh my God, look what Amanda did to me." Why did she decide to do that interview? I mean, I had to get some closure with them myself. And she did move on rather fast. The people don't know, but this, this, this dude that she on, on TV with now, Alan. I introduced her. Me. I understand how I could have hurt you. Yes. You proud of that? No, I'm not. I understand how it is a little f***ed up that I f***ed with Alan. Well, you know, you introduced me to him. You and I were not together. I'll still stick to it because it's the truth. And it's over in that city, yeah. Everybody moved on with their life, and why are we still talking about it? I would have never did no like that to you. No, you just did it with other bitches. There you go. What kills me the most is the hypocrisy. He did a lot of f during our relationship, and now he's giving me grief about moving on after we were done. I should have been moved on. Go return your rental and keep it pushing. Like I said, you trash. None of this is resolved, and that's cool. Yeah. This, this is over. So you can, you know, enjoy your life. That might not. I came to the party because that is the woman I married. I still have love for her. She will forever be Joy Young. Daddy Dollar. I'm happy you came. You look nice. Why you matching me? I can't wait to talk about you tomorrow on the radio. You tried to come upstage me? Okay. I see the vibes. Two minutes and the birthday girl is walking in. Everybody stand the up. She's walking in in two minutes. I'm gonna swing from the pole and slam in her face. I'm be like, stop no. What is y'all doing? First of all, I am shocked. Second of all, now I understand why everybody was playing so crazy the whole day. This girl really threw me a surprise birthday party. I am excited, I am emotional, but I'm trying to play it like a G. Shut up, Bobby, no you. He's right there, look. Trick Daddy Kane. Trick Daddy Kane? Yeah, Trick Daddy Kane. Trick Daddy Kane to my birthday. I'm not surprised that Trick is here at my birthday party.
We're not beefing or anything like that. It didn't work out between me and him. There's no hard feelings. But at the end of the day, like I tell everybody, we're still gonna be family, whether I like it or not. Okay, I need help on, for real. My leg hurts. Are you done? Yeah. All right. Give me a nice Hey, Joy. Come here. I'm trying to tell you happy birthday. You oh, thank you. Call, thank buddy. you. You all right? How the been treating Joy. 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 You know that mean a lot. You know, I like your little shirt. Your shirt is cute. Whatever. Woo! I know damn where this came <laughs> bumping to me. Nigga better bump into me and knock me slap back. Oh! And I know damn where he know I know who he is. Don't play no <laughs> games. That nigga better bump into me, I will knock him out and smell like that cheap ass cologne. I'm trying to say hi to her, she like walking up. Don't start. I'll make it rain on that ass. Man, this party, man. So, Bill, what do you appreciate most about Suki? I appreciate your gentleness. Gentleness? Yeah, the love. Oh, you just called me hoes in the car. You did what? And that's a major problem. Your Honor. Your Honor, this is a pastor. Yeah, and that's what I call a pastor as well. You act like you the king of vocabulary. <laughs> She's upset. He is there for me. He do love me. You know, everybody know that. You know, and I love him very much. If I love somebody, nobody can tell me nothing about him. They told me don't f with him. People in the streets told me that he's too dangerous. I didn't care about nothing. Nobody said, not my family, not the streets. I'm riding with you to the wheels, bust out. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, this is how you look at me? Just because of these little things, you feel me? I'm a man, bro. I ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out life. I'm still young. Yeah, I just feel like you don't cross somebody that got your back. You're the one who proposed to me. Remember that before you get in your bag trying to be disrespectful, baby. You asked me to marry you. You love this woman. Uh, she loves you. But at some point, you have to start thinking about what kind of marriage this is going to be if we're going to be constantly going at each other. So let me ask you this. What makes you lose trust with one another? You oh, you going to the side parlor. Oh, uh-uh. You can't go in there, Chief. No, he does. I'm out of there. He said his back hurt. No, I try not to even ask the question about infidelity. You would never play with me watching porn every day. Beating that in the bathroom all the mother time. Okay. Obviously. Listen, I'm not a baby mama, not none of these bum ass hoes. I'm so Come kind. on, like, what's up with you, bro? And guess what? You give me respect, I'll give you it. I'll give you back. Listen, but we not finna lie, though. We gotta go with the whole in all of it's obvious that both of y'all have been hurt and nobody's healed here. And there's certain things that only God can heal. He don't even pray don't. over his food. I pray over my food. I'm the one who taught him how to pray. Let's remember that. I'm the one who had to teach you how to Amen. pray when you first came out of jail. That's why you ain't in the streets no more, so don't play with me. It takes two to argue, and we got to get past this level of, you know, going at each other, because you do love each other. You all's issue is to learn how to live together. But I, I am going to stand up for myself. That's one thing about the women in my family. But we don't let no man play with us. There's some bitterness there. The bitterness destroys you quicker than it does the other person. So where are we going from here? So do you believe both of y'all are ready for me? Hell no. I never wanted to get married to him. Mr. Kill Bill in the street, sorry, no. So how do we resolve this? Everybody, this is Pastor Bentley. Pastor Bentley, this is everybody. How y'all doing? Yes, we love it. So a prophet came to me about eight months ago and said we're going to be a woman celebrity that I was going to pray for, and she was going to be going through some things, and God was going to pull her all the way out and give her peace. So if I didn't come for anybody, I came to pray for you and to tell you the things that you have went through in the last three years, especially the last three months. God said he's gonna give you peace. God told me there's been some pain and some things that have went on in your life that's getting ready to be rectified. And he told me to come and pray and to push you along. Did you say there would be no more days of pain? I don't believe that. 
don't live my life in pain. Pain is the, the fact of not having my mom. There's not no prophet, no God, and nobody else in the world is gonna ever take the place and tell me I'm gonna feel any different about how I feel about my mom. And that's just how I feel about that. And that's just how it is, okay? So therefore, it doesn't matter who's praying for me, who's supporting me, if I'm happy, if I'm alone, I'm always alone because I don't have my mom. That's how I feel. So no prayer, no book, no body, no prophet, no pastor, no sinister, no nobody is gonna change the way I feel. That's just the end of that. My mom is not here. That's the only thing in this world and this life that drives me. Nothing else, not no prayer in the world. That's it. That's what I'm driven by. Since everybody wanna feel like Trina needs, oh, she's sad and she's depressed. I am far from depressed, okay? I am just here in this life living without my mother. And that is what that is called. And if you, if you have not lost your mom, when you do, it is the worst mother feeling in the world. Picked on the wrong person, I'm not the one for I don't like surprises and I don't like the shenanigans. I'm not the one for that. Yeah, you picked the wrong choice, Joy. Y'all don't play with me. Don't put me in no situation and nobody come talking about my mama. Don't mention my mama. Let's keep her out of that. It's a lot of people that's here living. Y'all wanna bet good about us. Don't bring my mama into this. She's off mother limit. When you say God said to tell me there will be no more pain, God can't tell you that because pain is my life, my mom is dead. I'm so who can say that? that? I don't like people that come at me like with that. To me, that. that's foul, bro. I don't like okay. that. I'm with I just that. don't like that. I do that. So you called me? I'm yes. Here. So we could just do this and get it done and over with. Yes. I'm tired. Yeah, everybody's tired, especially me. I really want to know what really happened over there. We were talking, you know, smoking hookah. We were drinking. You know, he was like, you know, you're a good person and stuff like that. I didn't say all that. Just shut up and let her talk. I was sitting almost just like how Gaia was sitting on top of the, the bench, OK? I had a long dress. And all of a sudden, he went in between my legs. He started to fellatio or whatever, and that was it. It was just a trap. I fell for it. Oh my God, a trap! I'm not that type of person. You know you're lying, saying that yes. he missed me. No, it yes. was a typo. How you gonna typo? I miss you. Miss you. What does it say? Miss you, right? Miss you, but I don't smile. I'm dead ass. You're a fish. You're a dog. This is not your first go around. You know why you got caught? Because I was the brave. Who told me? Stop Did you tell me? That's her line. Be his mom. Let's jump this ass. Let's jump this ass. Let's jump this ass, man, because you're a lie. Just be straight up. I was unhappy for a little bit of time, and that's when it happened. OK, now, so now I'm trying. So now why were you saying that it was her fault? She came on to me. No, I was not. I'm not going to turn that down. Straight up. Turn that down. Turn that down. So you're not going to turn anything down? No. Oh, my God. You're a piece of I just want to talk to you. I have something to tell you, because I can't keep the secret no more. What secret? Jackie? Joyce? I'm so tired of Gaia always making a scene every time I have a big event. I need Jackie and Joyce by my side to support me, just in case they need to hold me back. All right, friend. So Gaia pulled me to the side. Okay, so I'll and I really don't want to listen to her by myself because Gaia is always on some bull. And I called you guys here to listen to what Gaia has to say. What's going on?
there's a lot of stuff going on between me and Molly. What? Yeah, it's not fair. What the? She's drunk or been the head, obviously. Molly, I know you ain't crazy. Don't play. I mean, if you had something to say, if you had respect for your sister, right now would have never been the It's moment. always a problem with you right now. Last it's time, okay. you said that it was just a problem. Right now, it's always not. Right now, it's okay. not the time. So let her talk, please. Okay, I'm going to let her talk now. Okay. All right, can Go I ahead, speak? Go ahead, Speak. I don't think that it's a good move for you to move forward with Molly. Cause me and Marlon. You got a problem, guy. Marlon, don't lie. Don't lie. Yeah, she don't got a problem. Lie. I got real. Proof. What's the proof? Don't act funny, Marlon. You came to the, the restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Your restaurant? My restaurant. No, I didn't come to your restaurant. You know I got cameras, right? Where's the video? I yeah, got it. See. This is but your yeah. husband that pull up at my restaurant. Uh, this is him. That's you, Marlon. That's not me. That's okay, you. You said you, you never went to her restaurant. This is, no. that's this not is the restaurant. Ah, that's Gaia's restaurant. She said that. She said you went to her restaurant. Marlon is a liar. I can see him in the video, and he's going to tell me that it's not him. Now I know what Gaia is saying is true. Enjoy a celebration. Gael shows up and f up everything. Well, we need to talk. We need to talk about what? Back with Hamza, they asked me what my mommy told me the other day. What mommy told you? She told me about you having a bowel, you know, all with money. Yeah. How? I felt something to the end of the What's going on? And I'm supposed to be having a good time over here. Why are you Yeah, but that right I'm now. just Why are you me here? Because I invite myself because I want to speak to you. Okay, yes, I'm having my vow renewal. Yes, yes. but how the f are you going to have that after all that? Because I told you I'm that about my in my land, we said. Yes, no. you got to give a Should I give a And do you know about my land daughter? What? Yes, she's 12 years old. Do you know about all that? I don't want to believe Gael. Unfortunately, I've heard this rumor about Marlon from multiple people. And I don't know why is Gael even telling me this. Is it true? Is it not true? I don't know. I don't know what to really feel right now. I need to know what's going on. Because part of me do believe that there's something that Marlon is hiding. Who is this baby? Who is this Baby. I don't know what she's talking about. Do you have a daughter out there? Sherry, I'm not if it's there, yo. Why guy is saying up? She's always trying to up. I should be the one most pissed because I'm having my party. Your sister came out of nowhere with no invite. She's pissed. And I'm still being so calm right now. Escort for months, you I feel like I'm lost. I'm out here defending you, you know, being on your side, taking your side. Everything everybody got to say, I'm Telling them that they're lying and 
And now Gael comes up with this book? How come Gael knows I have a daughter and I don't know I have a daughter? What you mean you don't know? Are you hiding that you have a daughter? Are you letting her get to your head? Are you letting your sister get to your head? Someone like that before that you have a Okay, so what happened with that? Outside of your marriage. What happened with that? Disappeared? So do you know who I was willing to believe Marlon over Gael about the affair because Gael is untrustworthy. But could she be telling the truth about all of this? When I asked Marlon about the rumors, he's always told me that it isn't true. But this time, Marlon is seeming more guilty. Do you have a daughter? I don't know. Julian is always trying to make the peace. So he wants me to sit down and talk to Lache. Mira, I don't have a problem. You got a problem with me, let's figure it out and squash it right here. I'm not gonna get up and walk away, and I don't want you to get up and walk away. I want us to get everything out so we can move forward in life. <clears throat> and I know about your brother, but I don't know about you and I, so let me know what is the problem. The reason I feel our friendship went rocky because of the subliminal shots you would throw on social media. I don't do subliminal shots on social media. After MJ did an interview with Tasha K. Oh. This was the reason why our friendship fell apart? Some Instagram social media comments that was said because I said that she has products. But she said, you know, her products make you take a Now you remember. Yes, I did talk because I thought that you had something to do with it because MJ doesn't even move like that. MJ wanted to speak his truth because that's the thing. You didn't see MJ and him to quit today, Amanda. You didn't see what I had to see. What bro? You didn't see me. You didn't see me when I was depressed while MJ was laying down his <laughs> and rubbing his head. He didn't deserve for you to go and smash somebody. You're over here defending your brother without even knowing what happened. So where do you want to work? What are we doing? My thing, is, doing? My thing is, by the time Alan and I got together, I was no longer with MJ. Does that make it OK to smash the homie because you weren't with MJ? No, I didn't smash him. I smashed him, and I got pregnant with twins. And we're still and together. I'm explaining you. That's why my brother feels the way he feels. You don't want to take accountability that is completely I'm going to for what? I'm going to And you better tell Alan before you smash his homie. Let me tell you something. I'll warn him. Keep Alan's name I'll out warn him. What the you going to do? You know what? I should have listened to your mother when your mother told me not to with you. The, that's the truth. My mama told you not to Your mother told me that you were envious of me. And your mama said, your mama said, she had to f*** with your brother. You ain't got no empathy. You acting like an evil bitch. I'm finally seeing things clearly now after talking face to face with Shay and MJ. They're both toxic and they have tried to attach themselves to my stardom in order to give themselves some relevance, which is exactly what I thought coming in here. Just keep my name out your mouth. Stop talking and we can let it go. Done. Sounds good to me. Go ahead. Goodbye. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm walking the f Crazy bitch. This isn't like a bachelor spot for me. This Are is you sure? Spot. I'm definitely sure. I'm done being a bachelor. You know you say that every year, right? Princess, I'm way too far in my life to be thinking about being a bachelor. A different Dow tone. Condoms in here anywhere? Why would I bring you to somewhere where I have bitches because over? I would never do that. This ain't that kind of I place. I mean, I thought the house no, was a place. This ain't that kind of place. There was a condom no, behind this the bed. Ain't, this ain't that kind of place. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, you moved out of the house. You because... left. Because? You left because you didn't want to be with me no more. You were done. That's what you want. I'm not going to bite the hook here. I don't want or need to relitigate the whole hospital thing. Want a shot? OK. How about to new beginnings, to the life that you wanted? To the life that I wanted? Yeah. I almost died in the hospital. Cheers. You fought for divorce. After I almost died. After you had bitches in the house, wearing my clothes. I knew Ray wouldn't be able to keep things civil. This is totally his game. He puts on a show and tells me he's changed. And as soon as I start to believe him, he goes right back to his antics. I'm dying, and you still thinking about wearing your that's not right. And you wonder why I got a divorce. All 
All I wanted to do was see my kids. You didn't even bring it. What kind of mother would not let me see my kids on a deathbed? And you never would have came to see me if I died. You just would have went to my funeral and then left early. That's what you would have did. Ray, what is your point? My point is... You filed for divorce. Because I was dying and you didn't okay, come to the hospital. you don't want to be married. No, you it don't want to be matter. married. You, you know why you don't want to be married? Wait, because you are already talking to other Yeah, I am. So we're done. Okay, we've been done. So we're done. And you're free to do whatever you want. And you're free to continue to talk to whoever you want. Thank because you. Because I already know you're talking to Okay. Yeah, okay. You, you want to go it. talk to other while we in a relationship? You tried to bitches the day we got I, married. No, I did not. Stop lying to yourself. And it's always been strippers and prostitutes. Strippers and prostitutes don't count. I don't have to do that. you expect me to do. I know, and that's why I that? did what I did. So I deserve to get cheated on? No, you cheated on me by talking to some Red. random no. You talking to three right now. One. Oh, one. OK, guess how many I've ever talked to in our relationship? None. You're a liar. All you want to do You grew is... a connection with somebody. You like somebody. I've never liked nobody. That's a problem. Whether I got my by a random in the alley or not, I don't know this name. It makes it better. Yet, you like it. Stop I think you me. can't handle what's done to you. You're unfaithful and you're a cheater. Period. Okay, okay. I said, <laughs> and you <laughs> to the <laughs> who's talking to my wife. What would Epic and Melody think? Stop it. Stop playing innocent. Y'all be there every time. Yeah. You know, it's good to see y'all. Y'all the people that mean a lot to me, and blood don't make you family. Okay? Family make you family. I don't really like the fact that that good coochie cat crew is here. Like they put Suki through a whole lot of drama and took advantage of her loyalty. Feel like she got an issue creating boundaries, and she keep giving people chances and chances and chances. <laughs> And sometimes you have to let people go. These are my family. This, was, this, this ain't no damn family. family. Listen. And I believe in that. Enough is enough. Isaiah Sapphire, let me talk to y'all. I see that y'all not even talking to each other, and it's getting weird. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. You was the first one to come forth and say that he was stealing. Mm -hmm. I checked him. He done got a new job at the dollar store. He working his worth. I'm worth a dollar? That's what that's basically what you're saying? Hold up. To both of you, you wanted to fight and all that. I never wanted to fight you. I wanted to check him. Check who you about what were you, you checking me because for? Was you the one that stole the clothes? He did. Who got the money? 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 Disrespect me and call me a bitch. 
bitch. Oh, yeah. Well, keep your mother right. You ain't gonna touch my cousin. Like I said, I'm pick side. Do this goddamn ring again. Tired of it, bro. Yeah, you do every damn ring I bought you. Like, what the f? How much sucker do you want me to be? I don't know. I don't know no more.